All right, we are ready for the X cars. 25 laps off turn number four. Green is out, and they're going to go three, almost four wide as they rumble down into turn number one. Making the first strike on the inside was the 57 of Caddick. And we have a spin. A car flies through the air, slamming into the wall. We have a huge pileup off turn number four. And now it is time to go back into battle. 25 laps. Off turn number four. Green is out. We're back underway. And Caddick on the attack down low. With Brewer on the outside. It looks like music on the outside. And Music powers his way to the front. Sam Music leads the charge, completing lap number one. And out comes the yellow five to go. And they begin to grumble and rumble their way off the turn. And the field rumbles down into turn number one. Off turn two down the back stretch. Misik trying to strut his stuff and strut his way into the lead over Caddick. And coming back to the line, the leader for lap one is Sam Misik. In second is Cameron Liebel in the 58, making his first appearance of the year. Wade Robbins sits fourth. And Josh Cicio in the one runs fifth as the field starts to sort themselves out. The battle on the track is a little deeper. Cully has just shaken off Grant Spalding in the 47. So if Cully is going to get three runs at the podium in his rookie season, three consecutive third place finishes, he is really going to have to get going. We are still very early in this race. And the 27 drops out of Wade Robbins. And Robbins at the time was running fourth. He still. But we are going to definitely have to get new glasses, Katie. <laughs> As Robbins sits in that fourth spot. And we have some mayhem as Cicero goes around in turn number two. Corey Caddick. Cameron Lebo and Wade Robbins making up the top four. Green flag back out. Cully has now moved all the way up to fifth. And Big Mac Chuck McDonald sits in sixth. Duel for the lead. Caddick trying to make his shot, but Misick holds him off. Misick looking to pull away. And skate across the line, your leader. But Caddick still hanging tough to the rear quarter panel of the 38. But the CIC automotive machine shrugs him off and holds the lead down into turn number three. They gallop back to the line, and once again, Caddick tests the letters down low underneath the 38. This time, he was able to get at least to the numbers but Misik able to power away off turn number two. That's where it looks like Misik's the strongest on the track. And this time, Caddick not able to get back. But Caddick stays taped to the back bumper of the 38, perhaps conserving energy, conserving power, till when it gets down to single digits. But it looks like he tries to take the pass down low. And Caddick swats, I mean, Misik swats him away like a fly. And Misik looks to be pulling away. Liebel in the 58 has the third spot covered. But here comes an attack by Cully. So the rookie driver looking to drive to his third consecutive run of third place finishes on the podium. Moves into the third spot.
The cat and mouse game between Caddick and our leader, Misek, continues. With Caddick trying to become within a pause length of the leader. Up the hill goes Caddick to try to use some gravity to get a run on Misek. He closes in. Looks to make a move in turn one, but stays about an arm length back as Misik stretches it out just a little bit. And we are going to be at the halfway point. And now they'll start to come up on the back of the field, the 84 of Scholler. Gives them room as they go around on the outside. And the 58, who had a great run earlier, Cameron Liebel, limps to the infield. And Scholler makes a detour through the grass. Can he get to safety? And he is off the track and into the safety of the infield. And we are down to the final 10. And Caddick tries to put the pressure on. Misik and Caddick. Down to the turn number one. And out comes the yellow flag. And four. Misik must move first. Green is out, an even start. And it is Caddick on the inside who nudges his way to the lead. Misik on the outside pulls out a grappling hook and tries to climb his way to the front. Two of the best in battle at the speed ball. Corey Caddick and Sam Misik. One off the front, that is the one of Sissio. But the battle continues to rage at the front. Caddick has the leverage down low. Does Misik have the power up high? As they have pulled away from the 87 of, the 97 of Cully, who runs in the third spot. Now Misik follows in the tire tracks of Corey Caddick. And Caddick leads him across the stripe with the laps dwindling on the scoreboard. Misik plotting his attack down low to the rear wheel, to the seven, to the five, almost even off the corner. Caddick by a nostril in turn number one. Misik on the attack down low. And Caddick trying to power away in turn three. We are down to the final five in a duel between Sam Misick and Corey Caddick. Misick sends it in deep in one. Caddick trying to outpower him down the backstretch. They rumble, barrel their way back to the line. We'll look to see who the leader is. It is still Caddick. By nine one thousandths of a second. Down the back stretch and into turn number three. Misik trying to use the leverage. Caddick trying to power by. And this time by Sam Misik is in front with three to go. And now Misik pulls away down the back stretch. A car length advantage. Down to the final two. Caddick going to the whip to try to close in. Misek hanging on to the spot. Here comes Caddick. All over the back bumper. Down the back stretch. Goes to the high side. McDonald retires to the infield, but it comes down to two cars. Sam Misek leads him back. White flag lap. Caddick trying to wedge his way underneath. Down to the turns, one and two. And the drag race down the backstretch. 
under the scoreboard for the final time. They whistled away in the turns three and four. Off the corner, and the run down to the checkered flag will be won by Sam Mesick. Finishing in second is Corey Caddick, Andrew Cully third, Bruce Berry fourth, and Josh Piper rounding out our top five. Let's about the battle over the closing laps with Corey Caddick. You worked the outside and inside, and how were you able to hold him off? Um, honestly, I don't know. I had to get back by him. I gave up my lead there. I took the top, and he was able to clear me, so uh, panic kind of set in for a little bit. I just figured, uh, parked the bus in the bottom. I saw him starting to you know, wiggles up the track every corner, so I figured parked the bus in the bottom, and then um, I just kept kept at it, kept him in the bottom to get by him. He definitely had the better car than me. I was kind of mirror driving, he did a couple shots, um, but it's all good. That was hard racing. Like I said, like I was saying, I think I won that from the driver's seat. I think he had a much better car, but we're uh, good enough to get it done. That's all that matters. Now, never mind the pressure that you got from Corey Tedek, but how about the pressure that last night you got picked by Diego Monahan to win in the Sidsview Challenge? How big of a pressure was that? Uh, I mean, that was a lot of pressure, and then there was probably, I don't know, five or six Facebook posts today, not posted by me saying I was going to win, so they just, uh, they just piled on, but in the campus, Diego, got you that win, buddy, I think we broke that curse, and uh, feel free to pick me again, and I'll do it again, you just got to make sure I'm showing up, so, uh, yeah, thank you, Sidsview, for the shout-out, and everything they do, Nick, because, um, as racers, we live for being able to watch our races during the week, and uh, if it wasn't for him, and the amazing uh, work that he does, we wouldn't have that. So a big shout out to Sid, of course, Yankee Racer here. Um, everybody that films and puts out content for us to watch during the week. I want to get in my sponsors here. Um, I got two new ones this week. Shout out to Rough and Fenders Podcast. He's helping us get up to Lee on, in two days on Friday to go run with the guys in New Hampshire, me and Corey. So big shout out to him. Hobart Painting Company, they came on the car this week. Justin Hobart's up there, so big shout out to her. Um, I want to thank the Fleming's family as well for uh, help, helping us get up the road to Lee this weekend. And honestly, they should be thanked every time this car's on the track because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have an engine for this car. So big, big thank you to them. Of course, CIC Automotive, Charlie Beal, here by Emma Monaghan, my mom, Cornerstone Designs, John Marshall, Marshall Plastering, um, Critical Signs for the stickers. I think that's it. Thank you guys very much.